Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Tuesday's Thought for the Day. Yesterday, we thought about how we look back at the Lord's Supper. We look back to the death of the Lord Jesus Christ for our salvation. But we don't just look back to the past. In the present, we look up to Jesus and we are spiritually nourished. We do not just remember, but we also take, eat and drink. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 16, is not the cup of thanksgiving, for which we give thanks a participation in the blood of Christ. And is not the bread that we break a participation in the body of Christ? What does Paul mean by this? Clearly, the Bible does not support the Roman Catholic doctrine of transubstantiation. This is a view that as a Catholic priest says the words of institution, this is my body, that the substance of the bread and wine actually changes into the substance of the body and blood of Christ. When Jesus said at the Last Supper, this is my body and this is my blood, he cannot have meant that the bread and wine before him had actually become his body and blood. Jesus was speaking symbolically, not literally. So to give you an example, a football manager, while describing a planned move with his players during a pre-match meal, may pick up the salt pot and say, this is a striker. No one thinks he is speaking literally. And of course, Jesus isn't speaking literally at the Last Supper. He was simply saying, this bread represents my body and this wine represents my blood. So at communion, the bread and wine remain bread and wine, no matter what words or prayers are said over them. However, as we remember the death of Jesus, through the rich symbols of both bread and wine, we receive the benefits of that death of the Lord Jesus Christ by faith. And that is symbolised by the act of eating and drinking. This is done by all Christians present, never just the minister. So that is why I say to the church family at a communion service, eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. You see, as we receive the bread and wine, we have communion or participation with Christ. A great Christian leader and writer, John Stott, said this. Jesus did not only break the bread, he gave it to the disciples to eat. He did not only pour the wine, he gave it to them to drink. He was not content that they should watch and listen. They must eat and drink. So the service is a communion as well as a commemoration. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, help us to grow in faith and be spiritually nourished as we take the Lord's Supper. In Jesus' name, Amen. Have a good Tuesday. See you tomorrow.